Here we go for the feature race then. To the left of screen is Zay Maloney. To the right is Alex Smoliar. We are go for round six here at the Hungara Ring. And Alex Smoliar in the red there immediately coming across there to cover off the challenges of Zay Maloney. Zay Maloney trying to look to the inside. The Trident driver now goes for the outside. Late on the brakes there, Zay Maloney. Can he get the run round the outside? Alex Smoliar trying to cover him off and just about does so. But Oli Behrman there in the number six, the red and white. Prima to the left. Three wide we go in towards turn number two. Oli Behrman running a little bit wide. Looks like Alex Smoliar's held on to the race lead here. Maloney in second, Behrman in third, Kushmani in fourth. Colette throws one, then to the inside of the Dales, a little bit too deep. Can he cut back and take the line through turn three? It looks like he can, and yet another position then for Colette. Dushajima, who was demoted all the way down to 19, trying to get a move on early doors. He's going to cut straight across the chicane. He's going to have to give that place back. Surely will go to ninth place, but only momentarily as he gives the place back. And in doing so, here comes Arthur Leclerc down the inside to put himself into the top 10. Looks like we've got a, a spinner somewhere in sector two. Yellow flags are out. And there we can see car number 21, Oliver Gertha. Gertha. Looks like he's come to a stop. This is what became of Oliver Gertha then, spinning on the exit of turn seven, unfortunately. Car 14 uh, uh, in the Tope. pit lane. Yeah, home race for him. Uh, Laszlo Tobes has just not been a good weekend at all. 26th in race one yesterday. Real, real shame for Laszlo Tobes. And Leclerc has gone through to ninth place. Coming into view shortly. Here they come. There you can see the red and white Prima. That is Leclerc now ahead of that white and black Campos. Turn 14. What inventive line is Arthur Leclerc going to come up with to try to make his way through? Doesn't have to come up with anything inventive at all. Here's Isaac Hadjar. We are on board with him now. He's been overtaken by Juan Manuel Correa. Bottom of your screen, you can see he's now in 19th place. And Juan Manuel Correa is going to oh, invite him back through. Almost a little bit of contact there between the pair of them. Isaac Hadjar had to get out of that one. There is the move then. And uh, quite easy stuff, really, from Correa down the inside. Whoa, big, big slide there from Risu Shijima. Just about caught it in time. And that's going to open the door potentially to Roman Stanek. Down towards turn number two we go. That's the second lap. He's had to catch the car like that. And Roman Stanek now could get the run out of turn two. Thank you very much. Through he goes into 11th place. Collett battling away with Leclerc. Leclerc up into eighth place now. Here then, the move for Leclerc. Try, doesn't find the grip round the inside, but finds massive traction here, look, on the inside, and is able to drive up the inside of Collette, uh, getting down towards turn two. Then it's a, a late braking effort. Meanwhile, a little further back down the road, uh, you have Roman Stanek being ushered to the outside of the racetrack by Risu Tsujima. Uh, drives it back to the grippier inside line where the rubber is not on the racetrack and takes the position. Making progress now, then, is Arthur Leclerc. They've told him to be smart, but get past. Just don't take any risks and pass one of the best young racing car drivers in the world, OK? Arthur puts him on the dirty, wet part of the racetrack, but Leclerc gets it done this time up the inside of uh, championship second place man, Victor Martins, and on he goes. Hajar's gone into the pits. Championship leader has put on the slick tyres. O'Sullivan, the fastest car on track last time round. We'll keep an eye on them. They've only got three laps to run here, though, to try to get those cars through to the point or further. O'Sullivan is past Correa as well. O'Sullivan's just gone past. He's now the top slicks runner. We did have a brief yellow flag out. It's come back in, but keep an eye on O'Sullivan. He's now up to 13th. He's gone past Villa Gomez. He's not far away. He's only about 10 seconds away from the points here. Zach O'Sullivan absolutely flying as we are watching a battle much further up the road. We're watching the two ART teammates fighting over seventh place. And now all three of them in the toe as they make their way down the start finish straight. Martin Saucy, Colin. One of the slick runners is going to come flying down the outside, but to the right-hand side of screen in the eight. Saucy trying to get round the outside of Martins. Is he going to be able to do it? No. Collette in the blue looks to the inside of the pair of them, and it looks like Collette is going to pick up a place on the exit. Drag race with Saucy down towards turn number two. Who's going to win the battle on the break? Oh, almost contact there. Collette being forced a little bit wide there. Collette will not be happy with that at all.
Zach O'Sullivan goes up to eighth place now. O'Sullivan absolutely flying there. Down towards turn number one we go. We are watching the battle for third place as O'Sullivan is up to seventh. Correa is into the points here. We can see Correa ahead there on the slick tyres. There's Zach O'Sullivan in the blue. The Carlin driver goes through into seventh. Correa into ninth place dream weekend for the MP Motorsport team. They took the win as Zach O'Sullivan goes through to sixth place, make that fifth but out front they won yesterday with Kyo Collet and they are about to do the double for the third time in his FIA Formula 3 career. Alexander Smoliar is going to lead the field home and he's going to do it comfortably 5.6 seconds clear Alexander Smoliar comes across the line to win the feature race here at the Hungarian Address race to the line for second Maloney just about speaks Beerman Zach O'Sullivan P4 can you believe that this is the finish between uh, Maloney and Behrman out of the final <laughs> corner <laughs> did an F3 race happen if it's not for a drag race to the line there you go mate well done really well done P1 P1 super job masterclass today masterclass great water race Let's confirm the result because it was a very hard one to keep up with at the end, wasn't it? Alexander Smoliar taking his first win of the season, a first podium for Zane Maloney, a fourth for Oliver Behrman. Three drivers on the podium, three different teams, four teams inside the top four. One of the drives of the season from Zach O'Sullivan coming through the field on the slick tyres to take fourth and another fantastic weekend of FIA F3 racing. We now go into the summer break. For now though, from all of us here at the Hungaroring, it's goodbye.